a year of protests against the Federation, slept on the pavements for 40 days, was beaten and dragged by the police, nearly immersed all her medals in the Ganga, underwent knee surgery, sealed her Olympic sport after an unforgiving qualification process, became the first Indian woman wrestler to qualify for three successive Olympics. Then she has beaten the unbeatable defending champion, won two more bouts to become the first Indian woman to reach a wrestling Olympic final. Her words fail to appreciate what Vinesh Fogat has done. Sir, but now heartbreaking news for 144 billion Indians that she is disqualified. Shame! Sir, gold, silver, or disqualified, no matter what, Vinesh Fogat is India's golden girl, the brave golden girl. Sir, it is so for 144 billion people. Our prayers are behind her. We stay strong behind her, except for the few people who feels that her medals are not worth than 15 rupees. We know who are them. Sir, hazarom bere gire or lakom tufan ude gilne wale fool gile hi rehenga. She will shine, she will bloom, and she will be our proud daughter forever. Sir, I don't think it was right from the part of the government to court the amount that was spent on her practice today. When the whole world was listening, we must not be declaring our crores what we have spent on them. It is not from any BJP leader's estate, it's from the money of the people of this country. Yes. Sir, today it was just, our responsibility was just to show our solidarity with her. It was not good on the government of India to detail who all people we have sent with her, how much money we spend for her, which all nations we spend for her practice. You could have said it some other day, but not today. Our responsibility was to stay behind her, to support her, and not to do what Federation has done to her during last one year. Sir, now the government has to ensure that all possible measures and steps must be taken to ensure that she gets her birth back. Our Olympic team, our contingents, our government, whoever is responsible, they must talk to the officials, sir. Sir, we must realize that it is not as easy as putting someone as the Federation heads, whether it will be the Wrestling Federation of, or BCCI. Sir, it requires effort, it requires money, it requires price, everything. So, let us just support our girls, sir. Sir, 33 years ago, the contrasting qualities of gentleness and strength in the voice of Dr. Manmohan Singh reverberated through the Indian Parliament a July 33 years ago. Sir, Dr. Manmohan Singh boldly embraced the idea whose time has come by risking political power to get India on the path of high economic growth. But what did we hear on 23rd July of 2024, sir? A budget speech inked with hunger for power. Nothing else was seen, sir. Where did the extra 2 AB came? We all know that where it came from. Everybody has rightly quoted, this is a Kursi Bajao gown budget. And we all know that. I request to the people of the 2 AB, Andhra and BR also, to look like a hawk, to watch like a hawk, and to ensure that with blighted breath, these promises are not like something two crore jobs in a year. These promises are not like in curbing terrorism forever. It's not like think, it's not like bringing back all the black money from abroad to India. It's not like the one lakh twenty-five thousand crore that has been offered to Bihar in past also. So that two AB, extra two AB, that also is not going to work out. That is what we hear from our colleagues. Sir, uh, that is what I said, sir. 
Sir, this budget, it was suppressing the voice of life of millions of middle class and poor citizens of this country. How failed, ignorant and clueless is the budget about the rising unemployment in our country? Sir, I represent the young nation. Sir, our unemployment rate is 9.2 percentage, sir. It was 5.44 in 2014, and someone offered to crore jobs every year, and they have ensured that our unemployment rate has rise to 9.2 percent, the worst in decades, sir. And the budget is going to address it just by saying that 500 corporates will intake 20,000 interns every year, sir. One crore interns. Will that be able to address this issue, sir? It is. One thing is for sure, sir, the gas from gutter idea is much better than this, this internship idea. Sir, this is, madam, this is my maiden speech. Sir, when we saw the Prime Minister in the central hall taking the constitution in his hands and kissing it with his forehead, we thought that it's a beginning. But now only we realize that it was a farewell kiss, sir. From third standard and sixth standard class uh, textbooks, they have removed the lessons about the preamble. Sir, what's KSM? India being a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic? Or, sir, justice, liberty, equality, or fraternity? Sir, what's KSM? Sir, I must say that they discriminate the people, they discriminate the states, they divide the people of this country. And we know that that farewell kiss has given a clear message that they won't respect the constitution of this nation. Sir, we know that a country can grow only when there is harmony around. Otherwise, a country cannot grow. Sir, corporate taxes, give me one minute, ma'am. Corporate taxes, we all know that it has been higher than the tax that has been paid by the middle class of this country. Sir, they have to pay the, their bills, they have to pay their home loans. They have to pay their car loans, and when they go to the petrol pump, they'll be charged 40 rupees as tax for a single liter of petrol. They'll be charged 30 rupees for a single liter of diesel. And after all that, when they find that they cannot meet the expenses for their treatment, if they take a medical insurance, you are going to charge, or you are charging them 18 percentage on them too. Yes, sir, this is tax terrorism, sir. This is really tax terrorism. Uh, how, how, can a, how can a nation of a nation like India with this huge population of middle Minister, class complete career, live please. up to this? Dhanyavad. Sir, you are corporate friendly, you are anti-poor and anti-middle class. The, the, the nation has given a clear writing on the wall. You have not realized it. I must say that you will realize it and we all know that an end will be there for this tax terrorism where you will be thrown away from the power and we will be coming back to power, sir.